here we are at Chobe Forest Camp, which is approximately 40 kilometers south of uh, Kazangula. Uh, it's not so well signposted, so you need to know about them to, to, to find them. Uh, they're also not on tracks for, for Africa, the, you can't find them on maps. It's just, you know, if you Google for campsites around the area of Kasana, you might just come, uh, come across them. But uh, that's uh, unfortunate because it's a very, very nice campsite. Uh, it's, uh, well, Chobe Forest Camp. It's in the middle of the forest, the Chobe Forest. Uh, it's right on the border with, uh, with Zimbabwe. Uh, I think if we drive just a kilometer from here, we would, uh, we would enter the border. Uh, but the campsites are very private, very secluded. Uh, there are a couple of campsites just specifically for, for vehicles, self-drivers. Other campsites are more meant for, for tents. Uh, each campsite has uh, its own uh, private ablution. That does not mean that you have an ablution just at the campsite itself, but there's an ablution block and uh, each campsite is designated one specific, well, we can call it a bathroom. Uh, there's a shower in it, there's a toilet in it, there's a sink in it, which I will show you just later on, but it looks very nice and, and it is very nice and the hot and the cold water is uh, is working perfectly. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, very, very good to... Uh, to uh, uh, that's a very good thing. Um, furthermore, each campsite is equipped with a fire pit, a braai, there is even a sink with running water. Uh, and if you are the only ones, as we are currently here, they might actually even uh, extend you some power lines so you can charge your equipment. Uh, and otherwise you can just ask them to charge something at the, at the reception. Now what makes this campsite uh, even better is that, uh, that it has a swimming pool uh, and it has a lovely viewing deck over a, a water hole in which they pump water, uh, which the elephants just uh, regularly visit and you can hear them uh, during the day, but also at night, just enjoying the fresh water that is pumped into, uh, into the water hole. Uh, yeah, we absolutely love this, uh, love this campsite. Uh, we've been here now for three days and uh, yeah, we definitely recommend it, but let me show you around a little bit. As I said, each campsite has its own uh, fire pit, which uh, you can see uh, down here. And right behind it, there is a uh, well, semi-scullery. Uh, it just has a sink. Uh, you can call it your kitchen area. It has a sink. Uh, it has a braai area as well, uh, in which you can uh, buy your food. Um, if you walk a little bit further uh, and through this small path, we actually visit the ablutions and as I mentioned each uh, ablution or each campsite has its own ablutions as uh, is uh, mentioned on the doors. Uh, it's written here campsite and number three which means that it is ours and I will show you inside. Don't mind the mess because we've been using it of course uh, but it's a uh, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely little uh, little bathroom with uh, with a sink, mirror. On the other side, a, a toilet, a flushing toilet. And if we go to this side, to the right, again, a mind, don't mind the mess. We will. I'll just give it some time to focus. There we go. And here we will find the shower with hot and cold water and a lovely clean shower head. I don't know how they manage with all the calcium in the water, but it's uh, really running and uh, running nicely. Uh, each uh, bathroom is equipped with, uh, with a gas geyser, so you're almost certainly uh, uh, guaranteed with, uh, with hot water. It doesn't matter how much water has been used by your family already before you actually went into the shower. Now, that's also nice, eh? Of course, it's uh, it's sandy, as it is uh, almost everywhere on every campsite uh, you will find in, uh, in Botswana. Uh, right on the corner of the ablutions is the scullery with hot and cold water as well. So you can do your dishes here. And uh, over there, there is the route to the swimming pool and to the viewing deck. Let me just show you. It's also nice to see. It's all solar powered, so they're completely off the grid. Uh, but they do have Wi-Fi. The signal is uh, is strong, but the well, the speed is not uh, not the uh, uh, speed you might be uh, might be used to in uh, in the bigger villages. 
but you know just for your basic contact with uh, with home front check your email check your facebook check your whatsapp uh, this uh, will do the trick definitely uh, wi-fi is only available at the reception or at the campsite right next to it uh, all the other campsites uh, probably lack of uh, lack of signal so that will not work well here we are at the uh, swimming pool area there's a nice sunbathing deck and a very nice swimming pool which they have just here built in the middle of the, of the campsite and then it's just a short walk to the viewing deck on which we have been sitting just watching the alleys pass by it's mainly elephants currently that uh, that visit uh, the waterhole yeah, there's more, currently nobody there there are also no elephants no animals at all actually but yeah this is the uh, viewing deck which I think they've done very in a very tasteful manner there are some sofas some couches uh, which you also as a, uh, as a camper can use uh, they also have chalets uh, and they serve dinner and, uh, and breakfast here in, uh, in this area so yeah here's the water hole there's a small pump that pumps water that uh, makes sure that the water keeps on uh, being fresh and you know elephants being smart animals they will just ro go right through the so to the source and uh, drink directly from the source instead of the water which is uh, oh, maybe sitting there already for quite a while smart animals so Chobi Forest Camp, as I said, 40 kilometers south of Gazangula, 50 kilometers south of, uh, of Kasani. Lovely spot and uh, yeah, I would definitely like to, uh, to come back here and I can definitely recommend it as well. I hope this preview was useful for you. If you want to know more about self-drives in Botswana or Zambia, feel free to visit us at www.cocellosafaris.com. We are the self-drive specialist for Botswana and Zambia. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. See you next time!